This is my 135 gallon planted and angelfish tank uh, with some other fish, Danios, uh, three Bolivian rams, and um, some Rosaline sharks over there. There they are. This used to be um, a planted 55 gallon community, but they outgrew it and the, um, the plants just kept growing. And so I put them in this tank. I got a 220 gallon tank for my uh, cichlids and turtles that used to be in here. And so now this is my peaceful planted tank. It has six Amazon swords, some jungle vial in the back over there. And let's see. And over there. It's actually growing horizontally along the surface now. Substrate is uh, plant friendly. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'll have to get back to you on that. But everything in here is pro plant except for that oxygen um, aerator. I, I just, um, I like my plants, but I like my fish a little bit more, so I just want to make sure that they have enough oxygen. There's no CO2 in this tank. Um, you can probably tell by looking at that Amazon sword. I've had it for two years and it's not doing well. I don't know why because every other Amazon sword in here is doing pretty good. It's all the same water and the same fertilizer, same light. Let me get a little closer so you can see my angelfish better. These three I've had for a couple years. They're pretty hardy. Um, I found that the um, the mixed variety of angelfish are um, definitely more hardy than the koi angels, uh, even though the koi angels are supposed to be uh, sort of a mutt also. But I've gone through, I don't know, maybe six koi angels. Um, while these guys have just thrived. I'll have to do an update later on, let you know how this plant is turning out, but it is um, definitely not looking good right now. Uh, green wind tea or red wind tea, one of the two. And that's the big mother Amazon sword reaching almost to the surface. Huge plant. This has produced, um, it's created other plants that I've um, propagated and uh, replanted. So, definitely lives up to its name being a mother. Amazon sword. I've had these Danios for a long time. Pretty hardy fish. I suppose Monty Rainbow. Down here I have my Rosalines. And I have three. 
three Pictus cats in here. There's one of them. <laughs> Always just hanging out around the bottom. Bolivian ram in the back. Apologize for the algae on the glass. I'll have to clean that off. And he's got two smaller Bolivian rams. Just kind of follow them around. Pictus catfish are just so active all the time. I bred this angelfish. He was from a batch of um, my black angel and my uh, striped uh, angel. And um, there were 43 of them that made it. I sold them and uh, I kept this one. So he um, constantly fights with his father, the black one, the black marble one in the back. I don't know if he knows this is his father, but uh, he definitely doesn't like him. He has some uh, abandonment issues. Oh, I think we may have a showdown here. Yes, we do. It is on. Like, what do you want, son? Dad, you abandoned me, Dad. You just fertilized me on a plant and left me there. It's not my fault, son. A fish. I had to grow up in a 20 gallon tank and then a 40 gallon tank. Oh, grow up, son. I <laughs> uh, hope you're enjoying this. Well, uh. Looks like there's not going to be a fight right now, but uh, I will try and get a fight on camera because they're pretty interesting. They're kind of funny. Um, nobody ever gets hurt. They just um, they just let each other know that they don't like each other. This angelfish is pretty young. It turned out nicely. This one is the mother of that uh, that fish we were just looking at, and uh, she has uh, begun hanging out with this one. So, I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that they look exactly alike. <laughs> uh, in the back here we have, uh, this is a, an electric blue Jack Dempsey, and eventually he will be going into my 220 gallon tank with big cichlids and turtles. Um, may even become king of that tank someday but um, right now he's little so he's in here oh here we have a bristle nosed pleco and you can see his nose and his spines it's kind of an ugly fish he's got two beady little eyes there looking right at you and Somewhere back here, either on this plant or this plant, is uh, my upside down catfish. He just never leaves his area and he never comes out. So 
I actually didn't see him for months. I thought he was dead. And then when I changed, um, when I moved everyone over from the 55 gallon to the 135, uh, I found that not only was he alive, but he was really fat. So, <laughs> he's in here somewhere. Uh, I think that's his tail, actually. Let's see. I can zoom in a little bit. No. Well, anyways, that is his tail. So, his body is under there somewhere. Can't really see him. Uh, that's how he likes it. So, we'll close with a side view of my tank. Cory cats down there. And this is just looking uh, a long ways down to the other end, six feet away.